Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, is he breathing? It is just coming up to seven o'clock in the morning. And the sun is just now coming up. We've been traveling through the night. It's been a beautiful, easy downwind sail all night. We have the asymmetrical spinnaker flying. It's been flying through the night. Rob didn't do a shift because he's not feeling well. And we are just off to the side of the separation zone on the Malacca Strait. Well, it lives another day. The first time in a long time, I can't think of any time actually in night shift, I haven't been up. But I didn't get up this time. Oh, well, actually, no, that's not true. I got up at about midnight or one o'clock to help Declan jibe the spinnaker. But apart from that, I was in bed all night. I'm back on deck, back on deck. And feeling uh, okay, but not 100%. We're off to Port Clang now, and I booked into the marina there. I'm thinking if we get there in time, I might dash into the township of Clang. See if I can find somewhere that can maybe cut this thing open and get rid of all the all the doodah inside, and uh, we'll go from there. Otherwise, might have to go into might, might have to. Well, we're planning to go into Kuala Lumpur tomorrow, so maybe I can get it done there. I don't know. Anyway, we've got the spinnaker up and the Genoa, winging them, and we're downwind. We're about 15 miles from the entrance of Port Clank, and we're ticking along nicely. Pretty happy for four to five case of six months. Welcome back. We're on a countdown to the arrival of our eldest son Finn from Whoa. England where he's been hanging out with his granny. Oh. Oh. There go. With six days to go we have just enough time to one pull into Port Klang for a boys shopping trip to the Malaysian capital of Kuala Lumpur. Two to accept an invitation to join the Royal Salangor Yacht Club's Malaysia Day celebrations. Three for Rob to get a second opinion on the abscess growing out of the back of his neck that concurred with the first opinion. Do you concur? Get thee to a hospital. And four, for us to get moving north once more through Klang's busy port on an overnight sail to Panko Hospital. If you want to learn what took the boys into KL for a shopping spree, then hop over to their channel Kiwi Boys tomorrow to find out. Okay, so that was fun. Uh, a little bit of culture there on Malaysia Day. It was very nice to be invited. The kids played percussion instruments and they were from an orphanage, which, you know, broke my heart. But we are in countdown mode. We have four days to get from Port Klang to Penang. Three days, really, because we want to get there one day before Finn arrives so we can get ourselves ready. As long as the weather doesn't change, everything should go to plan. Yeah, it got up to 28 knots there at one point. 26, 28, pretty steady there for a bit. So we dropped the main, dropped the Janar. Uh, now it's down to 22, 23, 24. So it looks like it'll probably stay like this till we get into the marina. The question is, do we go into the marina in this wind? So I'm not using the starboard engine at the moment because we've got some funny sounds coming out of it. So, I mean, we'll use it if we have to, but I prefer not to. We'll see, we might just drop the pick back on Pankor Island where we had our big lightning storm last time we were there and stay there overnight. We'll see. So that's sailing for you. <laughs> We're just coming into Pankor Marina now. Now this is going to be exciting for Mocha because this is where she's from. It'll be interesting to see if she recognizes the smells. Woo! 
down, so thanks Ive. Uh, oh, there's the guys, they're all waiting for us. And we'll be able to go and visit my Oh, is that the fuel dock? I thought that was the fuel dock. Oh, wow. There she goes. <laughs> Hospital? Yeah. Well, apparently that's the word on the street is the hospital's the way to go. If they're gonna, if something needs to be done, the clinic may not do it anyway, so we might as well go to the hospital and see what they say. I don't know what I'm hoping to hear. I'm hoping to hear. Well, You're hoping them I'm to hoping hear, hear that they say, oh, like, just leave it well, a couple more days and yeah, it'll go away on its own. That's right. That's what I'm hoping to hear. And they'll just give me antibiotics again. So that's how they do a consultation in the public waiting room. <laughs> um, so apparently it's a carbuncle and it's it's an, oper an operation. He's saying general anaesthetic and I go, no, I don't want general. But Why not? I think they have long term ramifications, general anaesthetics. I've heard of people losing memory um, and a friend of mine admittedly had multiple general anaesthetics and said she lost it huge amount of her memory and never came back. So so he said we need a general anaesthetic and I said look is there any other terms to that? Well he said you can do local but you won't get out as much. It's a saucer cut and it's a general anaesthetic. And, but under local we'll do a cross cut and dig in and get out what he can and I'm, I'm prepared to do that. And uh, then go strong into what in the, But then it might come back. It might come back. But if they put you to sleep and got the whole thing could you leave tomorrow? Oh, I don't know. Do Why don't you just do the oh, surgery? Oh, yeah, you don't want to do that. This is when sailing becomes, or when you've got to be somewhere. Yeah. Um, and sailing is so slow. It wouldn't be a problem if we were just going to drive to Pangor, because that's quick. But when you sail, it's so slow. So to get this done, Recover enough to then sail. Actually, Tudor, Tudor did say he, we could let take his car and go pick him up. Oh, really? In Penang if we needed to, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, that might be the. That's another option. Yeah, but you don't want to have a general essay. No, sorry. So. I've had loads of generals. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Oh, boy, that was. I've been crying. Did you cry? <laughs> no, but my eyes are wet. <laughs> but uh, oh yeah, that was pretty busy. It was busy down there. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Yes. Did you did you film film the wound? Yes, I did. Yeah. So Rob, you had a local anaesthetic, yeah? Yeah. No, yeah, local, yeah. And yeah. Was that good? Oh, it was still still painful. Oh, I still had some <laughs> jolts. Big jolts. Big feelings. Big feelings. Big feelings. Not little feelings. Not, well, not, not big feelings, not massive feelings, but we had feelings. Yeah. We being the royal we. What a shame this has happened when Finn's coming out. Yeah, no, I can't swim. No swimming. Oh. No getting that wet. That has oh. got to stay super dry. It's so unbelievably bad timing. I'm glad we came to the hospital. That couldn't have been done in a medical centre. Oh. Travelling on a tight schedule, we were very lucky that they could treat Rob in such a timely manner. At present, we have chosen not to carry medical insurance. The cost for Rob's consultation and surgery came to a very reasonable 800 ringgit or 171 US dollars. With Finn already in the sky on his way to meet us, it was time to shift our focus to getting everything ship shaped for his arrival. It never rains but it pours, isn't that right? So everything's been hunky-dory. Rob's had his operation and the cat was being super happy. She's been 
playing with other cats chasing around, dogs chasing a dog <laughs> having a great time here in Pancor and we're leaving tomorrow morning and what should happen but a cat from out of the district not a marina cat not a local had come over the fence and Mocha and that cat had a, an altercation and Mocha's got a nice big <laughs> open wound on her hind paw when she came running back down when she came running down the gangway the cat was chasing her down and then she got to the bottom gangway and then the cat took off the other one just shaking her head like there's something happened to her head we don't really know what happened I'm sure with a bit of investigation we may find there's a bit of damage there <clears throat> but she certainly wasn't happy but then she's like once that was she sort of settled down with the shaking her head yeah. and she's sort of like oh nothing ever happened but there is a problem so yeah, yeah. she's got a she also just got, a, she went, went to the litter train, she's got a bit of litter and stuff in there. Okay, we're back in the car. Update, Rachel. Update is, just get the cat off my, oh, okay. let's leave mine away. Yeah, they just stand up and shot. <laughs> so, the, um, so, oh, she literally had just had her and dinner. There we go before she went out and had this fight and apparently she needs to be sedated put to sleep so that they can clean out the wound and sew the wound up but they can't do that on a full stomach she needs to have six hours of fasting or at least three hours then he can give her an anti um what's it called anti vomiting Vomit. um injection and then put her to sleep but then there is a still the chance that she could vomit and then choke on that even with the um anti-vomiting thing so i'm just like oh i'd so, rather just wait till we get to penang but the 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 risk of waiting till penang was then there's going to be a the risk of waiting till penang is that more chance of infection and, the and, and, yeah. and more chance that they'll have to remove a whole Do load more of surgery her yeah flesh and with other risks they, involved for that so but i just you know the thought, because just, I don't know, because Milo died here, mm. can you imagine <laughs> no. if we take uh, Mocha here and then she chokes on a vomit and dies? Mm. I could, that's, that's a really yeah. strong possibility and I don't like the idea that we, two cats died at the same vets. Mm. It just seems... Mm. But we're going to do it anyway. Are we? Yep, we're coming back at 11.30. She's a little tired now. Yeah. Probably had a bit of shock, wouldn't she? Yeah. She looks like butter wouldn't melt in her mouth, doesn't she? So we came back to the boat last night because we had to wait a couple of hours before we could go back to the vet to have the operation to let her stomach empty. And as soon as we got back to the boat, she ran off. And when the time came round to leave, we could not find her and everyone was out searching for her last night but madam we didn't find her and so she didn't get her operation last night we are now on our way to Penang she won't be able to get it today because we won't arrive there in time and she'll have to go into the vets the day after that which is the day Finn arrives which is all we need Airport about to board my last flight to the boat. I've had four flights, or oh, three flights so far. Sorry, my legs are so fat, they've swollen up big time. I think it's maybe because of the food I've been eating because I've kind of been relaxing a little bit because, because it's going to be the only time I can until the Olympics. Pretty much, but I feel very tight. So already because of that park run I did the over in the and yeah, this suit needs some helping. Right, I'm going to be the last one on the plane. Back at the boat, Mocha had been to the vet, put to sleep to clean up her wound and returned to us in a very woozy state.
So we're taking Mocha with us because uh, we can't trust she'll be okay in this and it's a bit hot but on the way we are going to go and buy a proper cat carrier so that she can see out and so that she gets the air in there. This little hold all is not going to be very nice for her for long term. Hey fellas, you have to pick up oh, that's good. Yay. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm excited about picking up Finn, and the boys are too, obviously. Oh, watch your head, and be able to congratulate him in person for his amazing performance in Europe. He did great stuff. Still grumpy about the support at the hour of his real need, actually, but Rachel won't put this on. Well, unfortunately, the airport is a little bit further when we anticipated. We may not, not be there <laughs> for Finn coming out. I think he arrived at 4.25 and it's now, what's the time now? I think five. it's 4.50, maybe even 5. Yeah, 5 till 5. I'm pretty tired. We've had, it's been a week of late nights and then the flight leaving London. I had to get up at like 4.30, went to bed at like... 12 or 12.30 or something. So um, I've just been pretty screwed. The last uh, yeah, few, few plane rides, but um, yeah, be on the boat shortly. Probably the last time I saw everyone was in Cambodia, and then the time before that was Darwin when I was on the boat, but couldn't like swim or really do any boat stuff there because of the crocodiles and the water wasn't great. Um, we went out sailing once, but that was literally just to do, you know, do something because we, we didn't do the boat at all otherwise. So it's going to be nice to go swimming, some nice tropical water. I haven't seen that in a while. Um, kite surfing, I haven't kite surfed in ages. So Finn just messaged me, where are you? I'm going to say, uh, I'm behind you. He said, just landed. I said, I'm, just, I'm behind you. Has he just landed? Oh, yeah. He still... Oh, so if he's just landed, he's got to go through customs. So he's going to be at least half an hour. So that's good. Oh, customs? Oh, no, it's yeah, yeah, he's yeah. yeah, yeah. He's just come from Thailand. So, yeah. So, yay, we might be all right. We're here. Continue straight. So we just arrived at the airport. Yeah. Can you give him a call? Tell him, yeah. see me but I, I see them in fact. Oh look at that there they are there. What's up? Let's go over the front. Yeah oh my god. Welcome to the lady you're from taller. Oh no you got big shoes on. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Give me a pride, brother. Some congratulations. All championship silver medalists. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yay! Feel a bit muscly. Oh, it really feels a little bit muscly, Rachel. Kind of fat. Oh, yeah. His legs are swollen. I do feel a little bit climb. muscly. Look at my legs. They are fat. Legs I feel, are like, feel them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look legs at the swollen. Swollen oh, angles. Oh, man. Right. That's awesome. weight to it. It's good. It's got all the qualities of a metal. You Save must be very something. proud of it, Finn. Yeah, no, it was very cool. It was a cool, cool race. Oh 
Tune in next week when Finn's dream of joining us for clear blue water and kiting turns to tragedy after we experience a free diving accident at a remote tropical island. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Is he breathing?